Today on Pat's Car Garage, I want to make a quick little video on how to replace the idler arm on Mercedes with uh, steering gear boxes. So this is not going to apply only for the W202, but a whole bunch of Mercedes from the 90s and uh, probably earlier than that. So first thing you're going to want to do is, and this is to do it without removing the drag link from the car. So what you want to do is uh, first remove the bolt that goes here. So this is the chassis side take this bolt out, that should be pretty straightforward. Then you should be able to pivot this out and get a little bit of freedom on the, the drag link side. And then what you wanna do is uh, remove the nut that holds the uh, this end of the idler arm to the drag link. That shouldn't be too difficult. Uh, the ball joint isn't gonna spin because the, the fit between the ball joint and the inside of this hole here is gonna actually stop the ball joint from, from spinning. So you should be able to remove this nut without counter holding that bolt. Uh, well, the, the the ball joint, it's gonna have a little hex, uh, inner hex hole on the top so you can counter hold it, but you shouldn't need to do that when removing. So then uh, once the nut is off, I removed it with a pickle fork, and of course you're not going to want to damage the, the boot on the drag link. So what I did was I put a lot of silicone grease on the rubber boot, and then when I slid my pickle fork over, that actually protects the, the rubber boot from getting torn or ripped or cracked or whatever it may be. Uh, and actually, I had already removed this idler arm in the past, and I had to kind of, you know improvise it a little bit here because I thought I could get away with just replacing the bushing but that was a real nightmare this bolt here was totally seized so I had to cut it out drill out the hole I put this nut over here and I had to like angle grind the thing and I'm like yeah I don't want to actually drive around on that so it was just temporary as I parked it for winter so I could at least drive it around the driveway uh, but yeah no this definitely had to go so yeah uh, with the greased um, rubber boot the pickle fork should slide on easily and I actually I didn't even have to hammer the end of the pickle fork I just slid it as far in as I could and then I just pried up on it and uh, the arm popped off so now installing the new one isn't terribly difficult um, I believe this is the the top side of it so this is the bot towards the ground of the car the ground of the car this is going to be towards the ground. This is going to be towards the top. Um, and so what you're going to want to do is obviously start with this end first, uh, get it on the drag link. And afterwards, you know, you can line this side back up, put the, put the bolt in, uh, but don't tighten it yet. Like just leave it loose. Make sure you can uh, tighten this all the way. And eventually like the first couple of threads, the nut's going to go on no problem. But after that, what's going to start happening is the ball joint is going to start uh, spinning in the socket. Right? You have to counter hold the inside of the ball joint. You can either use a hex, but I recommend trying to jam in a Torx because that hex, the metal they use for that is kind of soft, so the hex is going to strip easily. So jam in a Torx uh, socket that fits and use that to counter hold. And then with a, with a wrench, you can spin the nut on. And eventually what happens is as, the, as you get some friction on this surface, with the top of the ball joint, it's going to stop it from spinning and then you'll be able to keep tightening it without counter holding it. So that's basically it, not super hard and you know if you have some sloppiness in your steering, chances are it's this bushing here that's totally worn out. I mean of course the actual draggling itself might be bad but a lot of the times it's just the rubber bushing inside here that uh, gets torn. I'm going to put the torque specs for this because uh, the torque on this bolt is important. That kind of sets the preload on the steering if you want, right? You want some resistance in this rubber bushing. You won't be able to get a torque wrench on this end, so, you know, just make it tight, right? It, like, you'll only be able to have a wrench on there and you won't have that much room to work with. So get it as tight as you can, make sure there's no slop. But yeah, that's basically it. So that's pretty simple. And this should get, uh, get some of that uh, good tight steering feel back. So yeah, I got uh, I got quite lucky. So that um, to counter hold that, you need a five millimeter hex. But uh, if it strips, you can use a T30. And if that strips again, which it did for me, you can actually use a you can hammer on a T35 socket, and that got me through. So everything's attached well, and this should be good to go.